So another star is also facing criticism after the Met. Cardi B says she has had it with fame. This after she was filmed making a joke at a Met Gala after party she hosted. In the video, Cardi B was slammed for telling the crowd to make sure they had their drinks and their lines, a reference to doing cocaine. Afterward, Cardi clarified it was just a joke and went on Instagram Live saying she hates being famous because she has a target on her back. Watch. God really cursed me with fame because fame is just like, oh, God. Oh, I hate it here. This whole go by the book stuff, gotta watch what you say, gotta watch what you do. This is not me, bro. This is just, this is ridiculous. I don't even understand how, how I always get in trouble. I feel like I'm always in trouble. I feel like I'm, I'm a celebrity that always be in the principal's office, bro. <laughs> I love it. She keeps it real. What did you think about this? I hear her in some, I hear her. I hear what she's saying. But on the other hand, it's very easy to go away, Cardi B. It's very easy to disappear. If you don't want all that that goes with what that bathroom, very beautiful, right? <laughs> all those nice things that you have, those go away too, right? I'm sure she made enough money to be fine for life. But if you don't want to be famous, you don't have to be. We've seen it time and time again. If you don't want those cameras, don't go on Instagram Live. You could pull away and not have See, all I, that, but it comes with the territory. You know, Jeff, I look at it differently, and I want to get everybody's take, but I look at it as like Cardi rose to fame because she was so honest, so brutally honest about her life, her upbringing, who she was, what she cared about, what she could care less about, and it, it resonated with people. Somebody that came from where she came from to make it to the top of a very difficult profession as a woman of color it's almost impossible and she got there and now all the things that she did to get famous being honest making jokes sometimes off-color jokes now are being scrutinized at every single step and she's like I was making a joke in front of my friends I didn't know somebody was recording and now I have to apologize for an offhanded joke that no one cared about anyway and I think that that one moment just kind of signified everything she's been going through and it kind of it kind of spilled over onto Facebook live I think there's a lot of famous people who never intended on being famous it was just they were just that that gifted at what they did and developed these followings. I was reading this article in, on, on, I think it was an L, and it was um, under the label of why Beyonce didn't attend the Met um, Gala. And she's very, you know, very picky about where she's seen, how she's seen, and talking about the duality between her as Beyonce or Sasha Fierce and like the Beyonce that everybody who really knows her knows. And she talked about how fame, like people suck the light and the energy out of everything you are and she's seen so many people have a downfall because of it and that's why she's so strategic that being said you almost have to be a Beyonce in order to make those types of decisions exactly. because if exactly. you're not popping up all the time right. it's not just about you it's not just about your family it's about other people who depend on you to do what you do to feed theirs as well so there's I mean there's a lot of double-edged swords so yes. I know when people are like well you don't have to do this it's like a lot of people feel like they do because so many people are depending on them. Exactly. I will say if you if uh, if Beyonce did that, she would get so much pushback. I think the people that push back against Cardi B aren't don't know who she is. They don't Probably. know her sense of humor or personality. So I don't know, Sam. I think a lot of people who push back on the Cardi B's of the world were fans at one point. They still are. They're just fans like that hate. Okay. That's, you, where, that's what it is. Yeah. Like it's the people that are like they're so close to it that they feel like they can touch it. They feel like it's attainable it's in some way. Yeah. And it's a way to be like, I brought you here yes. so I can take you back down. Wow. It's sick. That's ownership. Yeah, that's You're crazy. Exactly right.